guys, it is about 1.15 on Sunday. I almost said February again. Ugh, June. Is it the 18th, dear? 18th. 18th, Father's, Father's Day. Um, we are going to be leaving in a little bit to go have an early dinner with the kids. In the meantime, we're just hanging out at the house and chilling. I was doing some more crochet on my thrifted yarn project. Um, chevron pattern rainbow skirt thing. Yeah. Anyway, I'll try to put a picture here of my progress so far. Um, and I came upstairs. I was only intending on taking out a couple things to work on a, for a project I want to work on tomorrow. And I ended up just making the project. Now, the seam does need a little pressing because it's a bit wavy, but I made another dress. I know. Hold on. So it's just a plain white t-shirt on top, a men's shirt. Well, at least it was a t-shirt from the men's department. And then a tie-dye skirt on the bottom, which you can't really see. Hold on. Okay. So, and then a skirt at the bottom. How cute is that? I mean, it the skirt's a little sheer. It does have two layers, but I mean, bike shorts, people. Bike shorts. So, anyway. Bike shorts, and they have pockets, so we're all good. <laughs> Anyway, it's super comfortable. It's going to be one of my new favorite ways of making myself clothing. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased. What are you up to today on Father's Day? I'd love to know. Put something down in the comments. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. We're headed out to go have dinner mm -hmm. into downtown Portland. Yep. At a really great restaurant, which ought to be fabulous, but downtown Portland, which ought to be interesting. We'll find out. I'll be back.
guys. It is Monday, June 19th. Juneteenth, I think. Uh, it is, what time is it? 3.16 p.m. Uh, as you saw, I got up this morning and I was doing some painting and I did a couple of art journal pages for Artsy Trio. They both came out really cool. I need to edit them now and the vlog from last week. Um, but at the moment, that little bit of noise, if you hear that in the background, yes, I'm babysitting Junior, so there's that. Um, I also made another pair of wide leg pants out of a cotton bed sheet and a lace tablecloth. And you guys, I think they're my favorite pair of wide leg pants yet. I was wondering if I wanted to dye them, but I think I'm going to just leave them. They're, pre they're pretty cool. Anyway, and then I, of course, had some tension issues with my serger and needed some new needles. And yeah, I finally got that fixed. <laughs> you know, sergers are finicky beasts. When they work great, they're wonderful. But when they don't, like diagnosing exactly what the problem is, is so challenging. And sometimes for me, it's best to just walk away. Yes. Anyway, right now I'm just trying to get little man to sleep. He doesn't really want to go to sleep. So yeah, that's the thing. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is late. It is 4.45 p.m. Tuesday, June, June something. I don't know. Still don't know. June 20th, 21st. Oh, to the 20th. Um, anyway, I haven't gotten much done today because I had Junior, the baby sitting at Junior. Um, but before he came, I did get my counseling session in and I uploaded and packaged and numbered a bunch of paintings that are for sale that are listed on my business Facebook page, which I will try to remember to link down below if I forget somebody say something. Um, mostly the watercolor and mixed media paintings. They're about $25 each plus shipping. They come with a plain white generic mat. They just need a frame. Uh... And I sold it before Junior came. I was able to get them packaged. And also, I'm going to send my friend some Leslie McGrath some mail. So I got that done. I need to vacuum out the sewing machines again. I guess that's a permanent, ongoing thing. And clean the floors and all of that. But want five minutes of time that's just yeah I'm gonna drink some water and chill for like five minutes and then I'll do some cleaning and oiling of the machines and all that stuff hey I'll guys. be back although I could spend my entire lifetime in the art room and never leave life doesn't work that way and that's not good for you <laughs> so we're headed out to go for a walk before dinner uh, Mr. Bob's gonna be working late because he's got stuff going on but he's got a little bit of break so we're gonna go get some steps in and we'll go home, get some chores done, have some dinner and all that stuff. <sighs> get some fresh air. It's not too bad out. No, it's not it's rainy. Cheese. It's not too hot. Nope, it's cloudy. Yeah, I like it. It's good. I'll be hey back. Guys, it is really late. Let's see, 6.56. Past dinner time, I haven't eaten yet. Not that I'm going to eat much tonight. I'm going to just probably have bone broth. I'm not hungry, but. <laughs> oh my God. Bob went out walking without me because I was in the middle of a project and I didn't want to stop. And yes, I have a Band-Aid on. And it must have been a fun, good project because I cut myself once that it has a Band-Aid. This one needs to be cleaned. Not sure you can even see that. And then there's one here. <laughs> um... I started cutting out projects to work on tomorrow before junior, junior comes because I'm babysitting. And um, yeah, that didn't happen. I got them cut out, but then I decided to make one of them today. 
uh, I am putting together a um, upcycling fashion inspiration book. And I've been finding pictures all over the internet, mostly Pinterest inspired. Um, this is my book here. And um, I keep seeing Capri style pants, bloomers in particular, but I don't at the moment think I'm a bloomers girl, but I kept seeing like upcycled blue jeans made into capris and then like patchwork. I'm like, I saw Tracy Myers did and, uh, on YouTube. I have some of my dad's old jeans. He said, here, I, I was wondering if you could do something with these. He was going to donate them. Guys, I'm wearing my dad's old blue jeans. <laughs> Hold on. They turned out so cute. I have a collection of old lace and doilies that I've had for a really long time. Uh, I'm slowly using it up. I'm going to have to probably get more. But uh, hang on. Let me set up the camera and I'll get you some pictures. Guys, they are... I'm too short for this. Hold on. Oh, this is why we have a footstool in the art room. I mean, how cute is this? I was going to do something different, but I started playing with the doilies. And I have a few of these appliques. They're from Joann's, I think. So I took the purple one and I took one flower off of another one. And I put them on here with the doilies. I took a little, I cut them long enough that I could fold them up about an inch. Most of it's not sewn down except for this one little pleat right here to, to uh, make the legs a little narrower. But I mean, how cute is this? And yes, my dad and I are about the same size. So <laughs> he is a 36, 28, I'm a 35. 30. So yeah. Anyway, how cute are they? I have two more pair of his jeans. These are adorable. So anyway, something you guys can do. What do you think? All right, I'll be back. It's just about six o'clock and I haven't vlogged yet today because it's been a little busy. Um, I went out this morning and picked up a second, um, baby bouncer from someone in the buy nothing group where I live uh, for the kids to have at their house because little Mr. Junior likes to be bounced around. So, and then I came home, I tried to have something to eat and then Junior did show up to be babysat and I was able to get a couple of projects done. Um, one was a, another t-shirt dress, I'll put a picture here. And then I made another bag, I know, I made another bag half circle bag I've been making out of pieces of the quilt that I made a blanket coat for my dad out of. I had some left over. So I made another bag and I'm using it for my stitching. And it's, it's a good size for that. It's a nice big bag. If we go on vacation, I can have my needlework in here, my, my Kindle, everything else can be up, up in the bin or checked. Yeah. Anyway, I haven't got much else. We're going to go grocery shopping tonight because this weekend's just going to be insanely busy. And it's best if we just do it tonight. So we're going to go do that when Bob's done. And hey, you guys, it is 9.16 p.m. on Friday, June 23rd. And I don't think I vlogged all day. Oops. It's been a very busy day between Aaron's chores, babysitting again, <laughs> and um, family dinner night. It's just been a lot. And I, yeah, so I didn't pick up a camera. Anyway, I did get a little bit of sewing done. I got another t-shirt dress done. I'll put a picture here um, while Junior was napping. Um, but yeah, it's been kind of crazy day. Tomorrow, I don't know what tomorrow's going to be like. Mr. Bob is working on his two cars because they're going into a car show on Sunday. I have a few chores to do, including laundry. But we also, I think, have some sidewalk sales or those sort of things going on in the neighborhood. So I might 
go to one of those. I also need to go get some yarn. I forgot our neighbor's having a baby and I wanna make her a blanket and maybe a pair of booties. So I need to get yarn for that because I don't have the right yarn in the right color. So yeah, maybe I'll check the Lion Brand website. That might be easier than running around town. I'll think about it. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's 11.01 a.m. Saturday, June something. 21st, I don't know, hold on. 24th, I'm only a couple of days behind. Anyway, it is not quite lunchtime yet. I'm going to um, go to the bank first because I'm all out of cash, so I don't have any cash. And I do think we're gonna stop again at the resale shop. I really like that place. Um, I could walk over, but again, I need some cash. So I gotta do that. Um, I have my dad jeans on today. I'm loving it with this little top. Um, it's very cute. I'm going to go to the resale shop in the bank and then later on I think I'm going to just sit and um, watch some movies or some YouTube and work on my skirt, my rainbow skirt that I've been making from the thrifted yarn. And um, plan next week's sewing projects in between other things that are going on. Um, I did make a couple versions of this cosmetic bag recently um, that I'm using for art supplies and cosmetics. I'll put a picture here. Um, I did take the pattern and enlarge it because I want to see if I can make a bigger one and what that's like. I don't really need it for anything. I'm just curious. Um, so we're going to do that maybe next week use up parts that we have, try not to buy anything that we don't have to, and all of that stuff. So we'll see how it works. I don't know, but the only thing I'm running low on is the interfacing, so I don't know if I have enough of the heavy-duty interfacing for that or not, but we'll find out. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Saturday evening. I think it's like 7.30. I'm not sure exactly. Hold on, I need my phone stand. Got to be a busy-ish afternoon with just stuff around the house and I've been working on my rainbow crochet skirt. Making good progress on that, but we're not done yet. And um, doing some online shopping for some um, art parts for upcoming projects. Our neighbor's gonna be having a baby in the next month or two and a baby boy, another boy. Um, so I am going to crochet them a blanket. And rather than shopping all around looking for a blanket, because I've been looking for yarn at shops, I'm enjoying getting back to needlework. Um, I'll explain what the crunchy noise is in a minute. Um, they just don't have a good selection. I, don't, I like working with Lion Brand yarns generally and the bla baby blanket uh, pattern I like to use is an old one of theirs but it's not available online anymore. And so I'm going to make another one of those. So I ordered some yarn last night and what else did I do? I ordered some fabric and things and a pattern from Etsy. And I got some things in from Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Um, there's just been parts and pieces that I want that I haven't been able to find. So um, I also this morning saw a video for a new something I want to make. And I got to see if I have D-rings. I'm sure I do. I have D-rings or something I can use. Um, anyway, I really have been doing so much sewing. Um of thick fabrics, why is this taped shut so well? That, and I have a lot of alls, but I really just need something I can keep. Hold on. Okay. I really just need something I can keep at the art desk, I mean at the sewing desk, um, to help me push some of the thicker fabrics through the sewing machine. So they have this really inexpensive set of 
sharp pointy things. So um, I only really need one, but that's okay. I've got all of them. And I had to go buy blades for my um, fabric cutting, my rotary fabric cutting thing recently. They're so expensive. God, you guys. Um, I never had the 60 millimeter um, blade sharpener and they didn't have one at the store. I'm like, okay, I'll buy some blades right now because I need them, but I really would just like to just be able to sharpen them at least a couple times. So I ordered the rotary blade sharpener for the 60 millimeter. So I got that. And yes, I saved the old dull blade so I can now sharpen it. Um, I needed some black zipper by the yard. I really, when I'm making bags and things, um, this is more cost effective um, than buying zippers at the fabric store. And I can customize it to however long I need for the zipper. Um, once you get the hang of using it, it's really great. That doesn't mean I don't buy zippers, but I haven't bought one in a long time because I have a large stash of them. Um, but this is just more, this is a better deal. And I didn't have any in black. And it comes, everything's wrapped in plastic. Um, it's just a long strip of zipper tape with the teeth, I mean with the uh, zipper pulls on it. So it's uh, seven yards. Three yards, sorry, three yards of black with 12 pulls. And then I got, although also got that from Amazon. It's usually where I get it from Amazon. This particular kind I've been using works great. Um, I wanted some of these kind of buckles. I don't remember what they're called. They're really expensive. Like if you go to the fabric store, even if they're having a sale, it's still four or five dollars just for one. I got this whole bag for like eight bucks. You guys, I never need to buy another one. And I have all the colors, I, you know. I also put buttons on my blanket coat recently. And if you haven't seen that, here's a picture here. And after doing that, I didn't, I don't really need more buttons. I've got a big giant drawer of buttons, but I'm enjoying playing with the really big, huge buttons of which I don't have that many left because I've used up all the ones I had. So I went online to Hobby Lobby and I know some of you don't like to shop at Hobby Lobby. Believe me, I get why. But again, it, for me, it was just a matter of being able to find the parts that I needed, that I wanted. And I just, yeah. Anyway, they had some of their big giant buttons on sale. These ones are one and a half inch. And so I got six of those. Aren't they cute? Aren't they pretty? They're really cute. I got, I have one more of these white ones. These are from my coat. And I got, I got a few more of them. I really enjoyed working on them, working with them. I got some in gray because I just made a blanket coat for my dad at his request. And in case he changes his mind and wants buttons on it, I got some gray ones. I also got black. I don't know what that was. Um, I got more of these. And I got black. I'm gonna save the, my favorite one for last. I wasn't gonna buy it. I have no idea what I'll do with it, but I'm, it's the middle of summer, but I'm picturing making another coat once I see the right blanket or quilt. You know, I'm nuts that way. But anyway, I got black. And then, <laughs> you guys, I don't do these kind of things often and I don't, I'm not, I don't like to do hauls, I don't like to brag, and I'm not saying you guys need to do any of this, but when you're out thrifting or estate sailing for art parts, if you do any sewing, these are the kind of things just to keep your eyes out for if you like them, because they really do kind of come in handy if you have the room to store them. I just fell in love with this one though, I couldn't help myself. And it's metal, it's a metal button. I know, right? Can you picture these down the front of a blanket coat? Yeah, anyway. So I got a lot of that. I got, ugh, 
garbage on the floor. I got a lot of, um, you know, laundry and maintenance and stuff like that done. Uh, I have some another pair of my dad's jeans downstairs and some bleach water trying to lighten up the color a little bit. Um, I want to do another pair of jeans, um, cropped jeans like the ones I just did. And I'll put a picture here in case you missed it. Um, I'm thinking maybe sunflowers on the jeans. So anyway, I also have some things in my closet that don't make me happy that I think I'm going to pull out and sort through. And some of them might go to the charity shops, but some of them might just come up here. Because, yeah. Anyway, tomorrow Bob is off to a car show with both of his cars, the Barracuda and the Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi is for sale. Um... He's going to drive the Barracuda. Son-in-law is going to drive the Mitsubishi. They're going to both be in a contest and a show at a, the local fairgrounds. And Rebecca, our daughter, has um, some real estate business to do tomorrow. I think she's got an open house or house showings or something. So guess what Oma is doing tomorrow? Babysitting. <laughs> I don't know for how long. I don't know if I'll get much done because that's just been the way of things lately. And he's a newborn, so it's hard to get too much done in the art room. And I knew when I started babysitting that that was going to happen. And there was going to be kind of a little bit of a pause on some of the art room stuff, which is fine. Um, I am feeling the need to purge and rearrange again the small bits bank. Um, there's a lot of duplicates of things I'm not using right now or anymore. And I'm probably not going to use. And I also want to spread out the fabric stash. So, and there's some stuff in the closet outside the art room, packing supply stuff that I want to look at because there's some of it I think I'm never going to use. So, but we'll see. Anyway, none of that's happening tomorrow. And that's for a future vlog or video. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys sticking with my channel, sticking with this vlog and I hope you've enjoyed at least part of it. It's been fun. I do try to come up here as many mornings as I can and sit with my coffee or bone broth in the painting window and paint like you saw earlier in the week. Um, and I really enjoy doing that. I have a lot of watercolor paintings that are for sale and they are listed on my business Facebook page, which I will make sure is linked down below. So if you would like some of my artwork for your wall, um, go check um, that page. There is pinned posts at the top of the page of watercolor paintings and acrylic paintings that are currently for sale. And I'll try to get pictures of stuff and list more as I can. Anyway, uh, patrons and supporters, you know who you are. Your names are at the end. I appreciate you so much. And if you would like to be one of those, they have their own private YouTube channel. They have ready access to me in a private Facebook Messenger chat and so much more. Um, so check out my Patreon. It's also linked down below. I would appreciate the support. I also design for Art Foamies and they are a USA mom and pop business. I'd appreciate if you go show them some love. I will include their uh, website down, down below. I was gonna say downstairs. It's just been a long day. Um, I have some upcoming ideas for thrifting and upcycling clothing involving art, art foamies beyond um, bleach painting some fabric that I think might be really interesting. So stay tuned. That's it for today. That's it for this week. Don't forget the most important things. Like, share, subscribe, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.